Welcome back. I am your host again, Dr. Derek A. Reeves, and this is Moments of Reflection. I'm coming to you out of another aspect of my office, and I thank you again for joining us. And as always, I look forward to sharing with you, and let's begin. Today, I want to talk about mentoring. I believe scripture is very clear when we should be helping one another, considering others before we consider ourselves. I believe then that the church has lost a very integral part of what it means to be in the church, and that is to build the nation of believers and to reach out on those or to those who do not know the Lord Jesus Christ. We're moving fundamentally into an era in society where it's now becoming an anti-Christian society and an anti-God society because mankind has used religion and Christianity and the Bible in so many ways to disrupt the lives of others. But we have to understand this is the nature of man. It does not mean that Christianity in and of itself is wrong. Neither does it mean that the scriptures promoted such behavior. One such thing individuals who are not skilled in scripture will always point to is that the Bible teaches and promotes slavery. We have to understand again that when we look at the text, the biblical text never supports the type of slavery that individuals have exercised all through Africa, all through Europe, all through Asia, all throughout the whole world. As a matter of fact, the scripture says that if anyone, any man was to steal a man to enslave them, they were worthy of death. And so God never condoned it. And even the type of slavery that was listed in the scripture was not the type of slavery that was implemented by most of society. And so when we talk about then mentoring, we have to understand what the church is to do and what God expects us to do concerning mentoring, building, and developing one another. I think one of the fundamental problems in our communities, in most of the Black American communities, is that we fail to operate and work together systemically. I have never believed that there is an absence of racial inequality in this country. Neither have I ever believed that there is no racism in this country. Racism has existed even in the motherland of Africa. We are basically racially inclined to attack even our own selves because I remember growing up if an individual looked a certain way, had a certain type of hair, they were ridiculed even in the black communities. And so we're talking about something that is fundamentally linked to not just a racial problem, but a heart problem. And so the church has moved away from biblical principles to the point where we have adapted so many ideologies that have caused us to be unproductive, unfruitful, and really we, we're missing the mark of what it means to serve God and to be the light of the world. And so mentoring. Mentoring, I believe, is very important in any community and specifically within the church. I remember seeking to mentor many unique individuals that I saw so many gifts within, but I learned through the course of the years that you have to be very careful who you take under your wing. You have to be very careful what type of knowledge that you give to individuals because I've seen so many individuals utilize knowledge for a destructive mean. And so mentors then are not necessarily to take the place of God. Mentors are not those who know everything you need to know, but mentors are those guides that enable individuals to miss a few road pits and potholes 
a mentor's job is to lead an individual into the furtherance of their objective without all of the heartache and without many of the pitfalls that people have to clean up for the duration of their life. In mentoring individuals, I have found that in many cases, human nature doesn't necessarily value those who are trying to sow into them. And so in mentoring, the Jesus model was he always dealt with the personality as it was. And he also put forth many unique things to try to shape the personality while helping them to build themselves. In mentoring, I found out that there are some individuals that desire to be mentored, but even in their desire, they don't allow you to mentor them. You give them advice, you give them wisdom, you give them knowledge, and in many cases, individuals don't listen until it's too late. Then you have to find those who desire to be mentored, but yet they, for whatever reason, lack confidence in themselves. What mentees have to understand is that a mentor can generally see the problems that you're having. They can generally see those issues that will keep you from being successful. I typically will deal with each individual as an individual. And before I take them in under my wing, I have to test them because the ultimate success of being mentored or mentoring is having that relationship of trust. If there is no trust, then generally the individual that you're trying to mentor will come to a point where things may be very critical. And because they are very critical, there are times when you can't afford to not listen. And so what I do, I have a testing for each individual because I want to see, are they really prepared to move beyond where they are? Are they really prepared to allow me to push them that will break the cycle of their own fear and self-doubt and self-incrimination? Are they prepared to move beyond the capacity of their limited thought processes, of their limited potentiality that is generally self-inflicted? And so what I generally do I will always establish some type of factor that will enable me to see, do they really want to be mentored? Do they really want to grow? Are they really willing and able to sacrifice and to do what it takes to be successful? And because success means so many different things, and what success to one is not success to another, some people avoid the spotlight and the limelight like the plague. Others thrive in it. And so in mentoring, I seek for those, number one, not always the greatest of mine because people can learn if they're open to learn. Not always the most skilled because people can develop skills. But I seek for the condition of the heart. I seek for the condition of the mind that an individual is willing to try, that an individual is willing to trust me within reasons. I found that in mentoring individuals that looking at myself, I'm a no-nonsense person, and specifically what I desire to do is to get the job done. And the job of mentoring is to push an individual beyond the scope of the boundaries to push them into a light where they can now excel, where they can now not compete with others, but compete with themselves, realizing that in most cases, we are our own worst critic and worst enemy. And so I believe in mentoring, but in aging and getting a little older, I've come to discover that not all can be mentored, not all desire to be mentored, 
And so I'm on a quest to find students, to find those who desire to be and to grow in excellence. I thank you for joining me. I am your host, facilitator, and lecturer, and sharer of my own reflections, Dr. Derek A. Reeves. And this has been Moments of Reflection. Remember, Jesus is coming back soon, and every eye will see him. God bless you. Until next time.